Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today uh, we're doing Chapter 9.3, Identity Matrix. This is a great A video, so um, I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. This chapter is quite straightforward. There are only three things. Uh, first, you have to understand what is an identity number. Second, you have to know what uh, you have to remember the identity uh, identity matrix, and third, you will uh, find the inverse of a matrix, which is really not in the syllabus. But I figured it's better to put it in this chapter to be included. So yeah, let's see what is a identity. So now, what is an identity? Identity is in the form of math means no change. So it will not change upon um, um, addition or multiplication. So uh, there is an equation for this and equation for the multiplication as well. So just have a look and think about it. Okay, uh, so after a bit of thought, you might be able to say that if a is a ma uh, if a is a number, then i is the identity. Then how will this work? Well, for adding, it definitely looks like this, isn't it? If 0 plus n will equal to n, also n plus 0 will equal to n. So the identity in addition will be equal to 0. Straightforward? I think so. For multiplication, uh, if ai is equal to ia and equal to a, then it must be this. 1 times n equals n, and n times 1 equals n. So the identity of multiplication is 1. What about matrices? Let's say in the next uh, example. So in this example, we'll find out what the um, um, identity matrix is uh, using calculation and what we've learned um, to use equations and well simultaneous equations to calculate the identity matrix so because of uh, this equation we know that for any given matrix um, you can do this if an identity matrix which label a b c d multiplied by uh, matrix will equal to itself and it's true for another one the other way around which the uh, matrix multiplied by the identity equals itself so that is true but how do we calculate it well just do the normal um, calculation the multiplication and assign the equal sign to the correct place so let's see this is assigned to up top 3a equals 3 2a plus 5b equals 2 3c equals 0 2c plus 5d equals 5 and for the bottom should be like this shouldn't it so yeah, now we have all that. Uh, please do the simplify uh, simplification yourself, and I will um, release the answer. So now it's time for the answer, and it's obviously one o o one. This is indeed the identity matrix and for good measure there we 
think, oh, this is true for all cases. And so proceed to the next example. So one of the uh, my friend asked, what about I uh, inverse matrix? What is it? Well, first of all, you have to understand what an inverse is. An inverse is uh, what an inverse of a number is what if they multiply together, they'll get one, which is the identity matrix. It is also represented by this equation. And to the negative one means divide, obviously, and it's the reciprocal of A. And that is for normal numbers, but it is also uh, applicable for um, matrices. But how? Well, an inverse matrix is not just simply divide an, a matrix by another matrix, because you actually can't divide matrices. What you can do is, again, equation time. So what this is what you can do to obtain these results. And obviously start from here. It's all, uh, it mu there must be a zero uh, in the matrix for this to be um, having a valid um, single combination results that I found. So yeah, after we solve that uh, simultaneous equation, you should get these four answers. And so the inverse matrix will be equal to this. And it looks a bit complicated, doesn't it? Yeah. But that is indeed the inverse matrix of 3, 2, O, 5. Is 1 third, um, negative 1 15th, 0 and 1 fifth. So now that's probably it for the examples. Let's go to the tips. It's simple, just do remember the identity matrix because it's simple to remember playing uh, just 1001 and nothing much to learn really. And if you uh, ever get stuck, you can just calculate the inverse again. Uh, the identity matrix again. So yeah, I showed that in example one and you should be able to calculate the ident identity matrix over and over again. And for number, uh, the second tip I will give is that do think the matrix as one because that is the most um, close representative that we can think about is one because we use normal numbers and the infer uh, the identity of a multiplication is one so yeah that is my tip for today so yeah let's go to the questions so there are only four questions um, I just want the inverse of these four matrices and you should be able to do them given that each of them have has a zero in it and yeah in the count of five I shall see you with the answer so five four three two one here we go uh, these are the answers it does look a bit messy but that is the nature of uh, inverse and so yeah that uh, ends the chapter uh, 9.3 so if you learned something uh, leave me a like and uh, give me some comments to give me rooms for improvement and subscribe if you want more of these videos and I will see you next time